Hi Starseeds! So I'm really excited about today's recipe because we're going to be making something very healthy and very delicious. And for those of you who are gluten-free, this is a great recipe. It's We're going to be making a healthy raw vegan tortilla wrap recipe. And the great thing about this is that we aren't going to be using any wheat or any flour. This is purely raw vegan and it's going to be made with dates and beets and chia seeds and I'm going to show you how to make it right now. It's just mwah, mwah, perfect. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Irene and I'm here every single week providing you with delicious, in my opinion, plant-based recipes. So if you haven't subscribed, I hope you subscribe. So I've got some glorious medjool dates here and you're going to need 10 of these. And before we put them in the blender, just make sure that you remove the pit and also the cap. Okay, because we don't want that in the blender. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the seed from all of them. So our dates are ready to be thrown in the blender. Did I mention that this recipe is amazing for an on-the-go snack? Or you can actually even have it as a main meal. So, let's do this. 10 medjool dates in. Half a cup of chia seeds. Now, let me tell you a little bit about these chia seeds. So I didn't use dry chia seeds. I actually took chia seeds and soaked them overnight until I got like a jelly kind of consistency. So that's all you have to do. You don't even have to measure it out. Just put some chia seeds in a bowl, add some water, give it a stir, and the next day you're gonna have a jelly-like consistency. So the next ingredient is going to be one cup of pre-cooked beets. Now these are not store-bought. I actually cook these myself at my house, but you can go ahead and get store-bought beets if you don't have time. So in go the one cup of beets and two cups of filtered water. So all that's left to do is mix it up in the blender and then it's ready to be put in the dehydrator. Let's do it. So this is the consistency after you blend everything until nice and smooth. And you wanna make sure you blend everything until super smooth because you don't want any, want any date chunks in your wrap. And you can see that it's a bit thick and gloopy. So now we're going to put our schlop that can't imagine that it's gonna turn into a wrap, but it will. We're gonna put it on this, on our dehydrator sheet. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do it. So you're just gonna place some in the center. Now this makes about three medium-sized wraps. And then you're gonna pick it up and just slowly in a circular motion, move the dehydrator sheet until you get a nice circle. Now you wanna make sure that the thickness is about a quarter of an inch thick. If you go thinner than that, your wrap will probably tear, okay? So just be really careful. And also be careful on the edges of the wrap. Make sure that all of the, um, the liquid is not concentrated in the center, but is evenly spread around, you know, evenly. So I made three wraps with this uh, um, recipe. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pop these in the dehydrator at 115 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 hours. I know it seems like a long time, but it'll go by really fast. After 10 hours, you're gonna flip your wrap carefully, removing the paper, flip it over, and then you're going to put it in the dehydrator again for another hour. Okay, so it's been about 10 hours and our beetroot wraps are ready. Look at these, and look how pliable they are. You can roll them, and they don't rip or crack or anything. So these are my wrap ingredients. I am using some mashed avocado, some smoked tofu, which is organic. I'm using some microgreens. Now these are lentil microgreens, and this is a combination of broccoli and arugula, and some carrots here, and also some red peppers. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and roll this up. I hope I didn't overfill. And with a knife, we're just going to cut it in half. And voila!
Okay guys, so our wraps are ready. I'm so excited because I'm gonna have these for lunch with Greg. Um, so they're perfect for kids if you want a healthy alternative and you're trying to lose weight. They're perfect for weight loss too because we're not using any wheat in here or any wonky ingredients. You know exactly what's in these. It's all whole foods and all dehydrated at a temperature where all of the foods retain their live enzymes. So. This is such a great snack. It's a great on the go snack. You can have it as a main meal and accompany it with something else as well. And I'm just so excited to dig in. So if you like this video, I hope you subscribe to the channel because you know that we're here every single week giving you amazing plant-based recipes. And don't forget to smash that like button if you enjoyed the video. So we'll see you guys next time for the next recipe.